Hello and welcome to another Sportsian video. Today we are going to analyze the squad of Delhi Capitals and make a predicted 11. With me is Shrikant, an RCB fan. Yeah, the journey of Delhi has been quite a fascinating one to say the least. So starting off the IPL in 2008, they were in great forms. Uh, both in 2008 and 9, uh, they made it to the playoffs but uh, couldn't progress any further beyond the playoffs. Both time uh, they lost to the eventual winners, uh, that is Rajasthan and Deccan Chargers in the semis. And uh, again in 2012, they were in the top spot but again failed to make, uh, make it through the semis. And then from there on, uh, their form just slumped. Uh, in 2013, they had just three wins out of uh, 14 matches and in 2014, they did not retain any players and went with a clean slate into the auction room. But again, they finished last in that season with just two wins and again seventh in 2015. So that period was very bad. In 2016, they did okay. They were almost close to qualifying with 14 points, but just because their net run rate was down, they finished sixth. So both 2016 and 2017, they finished in sixth position. And 2018, uh, again, they finished last under Ponting's leadership, Ponting as coach, but uh, didn't make that much of an impact. Uh, the resurgence actually happened last year where they qualified for the playoffs after seven years. Uh, they did win their first playoff match against Sunrisers Hyderabad by two wickets, but again lost to eventual finalist Chennai Super Kings uh, by six wickets and ended up as the second runner up in the playoffs. It has been a roller coaster ride for them. So I feel that uh, the main issue which they had lacked in the initial years was not to have a solid core. If you look at successful teams like CSK, Mumbai Indians and KKR, all the years that they had won, they had that core and they retained that core throughout. But Delhi, it's more of like a very short-term vision. They don't have a long-term vision and they're always, you know, chopping and changing. I can say so many instances of they having good players, but then they lost them. Like they had David Warner initially, they had A.B. De Villiers initially, they lost both of them. Then they had Andre Russell for a season, they had Glenn Maxwell. All these players had went on to make uh, great names internationally, but Delhi could not uh, get hold of them because I think that they did not see the potential initially. But then definitely after Rahul Dravid came, you can see that uh, he was uh, building a core around the youngsters like uh, Rishabh Pant, uh, Shreyas Iyer, the captain, Prithvi Shaw and all those people. So definitely, like you said, uh, the resurgence is happening now. And um, looking at the squad this year, again, it's like a really strong squad on paper. As you told, it is a very good squad. Uh, I feel the Indian strength, the core of any IPL team, it looks much better compared to any other years for Delhi. But uh, having said that, I feel it is a little top heavy, especially when it comes to opening the top three positions. Like most of the players are jockeying for those three positions. And I feel a certain lacking of a genuine all-rounder apart from Stoinis. Uh, and I don't know how much he can bowl. So apart from that, I feel the squad is very good. Yeah, uh, so looking at the batsmen now, uh, the batsmen in Delhi are Shrey Sayer, uh, Rahane, Prithvi Shaw, Shikhar Dhawan and Hetmeyer. Uh, like you said, it's a very top-heavy batting team, uh, top-heavy team. But when I look at uh, these five players, I instantly want to put all the five players in the team. And the moment that happens, right, then I'm left with only six other options. And only a maximum of six people can bowl in those because all these five, they do not bowl. That is the issue with me. Uh, I feel Rahane will be the first one to miss out. Uh, I don't think he'll be the first choice opener or the middle order player because I don't see a point in playing Rahane at four, three or four because I think three is fixed for Shreya Sayer. And if Rahane doesn't open, I don't think there is a possibility for him to play lower down the order. So I feel it will be Shaw and Davan opening with Ayer and Punt coming in at 3 and 4. This will be my top 4. Okay, uh, I have a very similar uh, lineup. I won't say very similar, I'll say the exact uh, lineup till now. Right. I also have Prithvi Shaw and Shikhar Davan opening because Prithvi Shaw is more explosive and Davan is like he'll play the anchor role. Obviously, Shreya Sair is a perfect number 3 batsman. Uh, Hetmeyer at number 4 and Punt at number 5. Punt will be like the person who uh, kind of dons the finisher's role because I don't think there is uh, uh, much of a finisher uh, as such in uh, this team. So, he'll bat at number 5. Okay, uh, so now coming to the all-rounders, uh, there is Harshal Patel, Kimo Paul, Marcus Toynis, Daniel Sams and Lalit Yadav. 
and apart from that there is a wicket keeper batsman alex carey so from this list who do you think will make it uh i think stoinis will definitely have to play because there is a lack of power hitting in the end and i think he can provide that and if required he can bowl a couple of overs of medium pace uh and akshar patel is a good choice uh if it is particularly spin friendly wickets so i think he is a possibility in that uh, apart from that i do not f- see anybody else making the cut because uh, as i see delhi is like a two part team there is like top 5 or 6 top heavy batting and like five genuine bowlers i think that is a good strategy but i still feel they lack lack a genuine all rounder and a finisher like uh, hardik pandya or ms dhoni for csk exactly i also think of the same thing uh like you i will go with marcus stoinis and akshar patel as well but the issue for me is uh, i feel marcus stoinis is much better uh, you know opening the batting rather than uh, you know coming in uh, late down the order uh, i have seen matches for rcb he has not uh, you know substantially lived up to the finisher role still like you said they need bowling options as well he is a you know decent enough bowler who can you know pitch in with two or three overs and also like he is a very strong batsman so you can definitely you know rely on him to hit the ball out of the park even if like there is a couple of dots so okay so now let's move on to spinners uh, like uh, you said there is akshar patel apart from that two leg spinners are there amit mishra and sandeep lamichane and of course ravichandran ashwin so who will be your pick uh definitely ashwin will play and uh, i will pick lamichane ahead of amit mishra because i feel he has more experience in the ua wickets having played in psl as well and many of these uh, uh, international matches for this under uh, i mean uh, their teams having been held in uae so i feel he has better chances of playing in uae condition than amit mishra particularly if it is a heavily spin friendly wicket and if akshar is not playing then i would pick all three of them ashwin mishra and lamichane so i think uh, i will also pick pick lamichane ahead of amit mishra of course amit mishra is uh, the highest uh, wicket taker an indian wicket taker in ipl but like you said lamichane has more uh, match fitness because he is also playing in the caribbean premier league as well so i think lamichane will uh, be picked ahead of amit mishra and definitely ashwin as well uh, okay now coming to the last part the fast bowlers so they have avesh khan ishan sharma kahiso rabada mohit sharma Andrik Nortia and Tushar Deshpande. So, like, there are two overseas uh, fast bowlers. Krabada will be the first pick in that, uh, unless there are some injuries or any COVID-related issues. So, uh, Krabada will be the first choice for fast bowlers, and followed by Ishan Sharma as an Indian pacer. Okay, uh, Krabada is like uh, we you we all saw what he did in the Super Over uh, last year, mm-hmm. and of course, Ishan Ishan Sharma has been playing all seasons of the IPL. He's a very seasoned campaigner. uh avesh khan i think uh, he did impress uh, in a few games last year mohit sharma of course has been uh, the part of the 2015 world cup uh, squad for india uh, but i still feel that uh, ishan sharma and kahis uh, rabada will be the first choices okay uh, shri khan so can can you sum up your uh, 11 for me so uh, i'll open with shawn davan ayer at 3 and uh, pant at 4 Four and five will be punt and admire interchangeably depending on the match situation. Uh, I feel Stoinis is at six, uh, followed by Ashwin, and then Amit Mishra at seven, uh, at eight. Ashwin and uh, Mishra, Ishant and Rabada will be my fast bowlers, uh, finishing off by Lamichane at eleven. So I think uh, I have a very similar team except uh, you have put in Amit Mishra and I have put in Akshar Patel just for the fact that I think uh, both Amit Mishra and Lamit Chane are uh, like the same type of bowler so I felt that uh, a left arm bowler there will uh, you know make a difference so what do you feel is there any other possibility like delhi going aggressive with any other uh, possible 11 combination so what i felt is um, i will play if i play alex carry he's a really good finishing option and like i said marcus toynes is much better at the opening than at the middle order so i am going to if if given an option i'll take a controversial decision by dropping shikhar dhawan and opening toynes with prithvi shaw and then playing alex carry also so in this case i'll have to drop a foreigner because i'm bringing in carry so i'll drop lamichane and bring in a very similar bowler in amit mishra right so yeah uh, even i feel carry is in good form uh, if i have to bring him uh, just in case that uh, as we all know uae pitches are more bowler friendly pitches so if stoinis can definitely give four overs or if 
somebody else like a shreyas can pitch in with an over or two uh, i would drop lamichane and bring in carry i wouldn't drop a batsman so i will have four uh, genuine bowlers uh, with stoinis and maybe a shreyas iyer rolling his arm over for an over or two so do you feel uh, how do you feel that the squad is going to do this ipl under ponting and under shreyas uh, where do you see them finishing this ipl i think that if they get their combination right because we have discussed a couple of combinations here if they nail the combination initially they are definitely going to end up in the playoffs uh, place like they did last year fine vignesh so it has been nice uh, discussing the delhi squad with you i uh, hope you all enjoy this video uh, please do uh, like share and comment and definitely give us your feedback on which is the 11 that you are going to pick for delhi uh, and we'll be back with more team videos very soon